if I don't wait on anyone. Okay. As vice chairman, I'm going to call this meeting to order. Um, we have a quorum's accommodation of meeting. Everybody have their copy of the agenda? Okay. Uh, Mr. Mike, would you give us an invocation? Sure. There you go. Heavenly Father, we just come to you now, Lord, at this time with bowed heads and grateful hearts, Lord, uh, not really knowing what it's all about, but we just pray that everything that's said and done here tonight would be pleasing unto you, and we just pray that we'll always act and do the things and say the things that other people can see you in all of us, Lord, and, and we just pray as we here in this position here as elected officials of this county, and we just pray that we'll always realize how blessed we are to live in this county, Lord, and we just pray that we might always make the right decisions, Lord, and, but first we all pray that we might ask you what would you do, and so that's what we're asking you right now, Lord, we want to do <coughs> your will, Lord in all of our lives, and we just want to pray for Kim's son, Lord, and with her family, Lord, and others around us that are sick, and we just pray we always realize, Lord, that you bless us so much, and you asked for so little, but you gave so much, and we just thank you for your son who died on the cross, and we just thank you now for those that fight for our freedom, Lord, and we know that freedom's not free, and we just pray that you be with each and every one of us here, Lord, in this room, and just pray that you lay your hand and protect you and of love all on all of us, and just forgive us where we fail you. We ask this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mr. Chairman, before the road call, uh, all the legal aspects, I know I wasn't notified until just a very short time back. Is everything cleared for all that? Yes, sir. I don't want to go up before the government. No, sir. Okay. Roll call, Felicia. Commissioner Hall. Here. Commissioner Sutton. Here. Chairman Meadows. Here. Commissioner Bozeman. Here. Commissioner McDonald. Present. Attorney Miller. The purpose of the call meeting was tonight is for the funds collected by the tax commissioner. Um, memo was sent out today um, per OCGA 48.5, and 48.5. Dash 142, the tax commissioner shall every two weeks pay to the Worth County Board of Commissioner the county taxes, including but not limited to any interest penalties or other amounts due to the county which they have collected during the two weeks and the associated reports. The funds last received from property tax checks were received on July 3, 2012 for the month of June and motor vehicles check received July 9, 2012 for June 23rd through July the 6th. And that is why our meeting is tonight. Tabitha's here if she wants to come up at this time. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure why the special call meeting. Um, I did, I am in receipt of this memo that I was given about 2 o'clock today, 2.10, when it was delivered to me. And it's also asking that I please have the past due funds and reports turned into the Board of Commissioners office by 3 o'clock, which gives me, what, 40 minutes to turn them over to you. In the past 12 years since I've been in office, I have always turned over the property tax once a month and the motor vehicle tax or motor vehicle disbursement every two weeks. It has never been an issue or never been a problem. It's always just been a verbal agreement for a prior board. Um, and I've even confronted Mr. Miller to make sure that I was correct as, as chairman at one year, and he said that is something that we've always done and always agreed upon. I've never been asked to do such or to do follow or do the ever two weeks, and doing the ever month, it was to save the county money because I was saving myself from having to write double the checks, print off and run double the reports, and have double the postage every month instead of just sending one check a month to the property. And then I do do motor vehicles every two weeks. So I'm just trying to understand why all of a sudden after 12 years this is being presented as a problem or an issue. Going forward, as, as far as 
this because we'll follow by the law every two weeks. Um, the, the county, I don't know what kind of agreement you have with past chairmen or whatever the case may be, but going forward, this is how the county wants it. That's what's on the books and that's what we want. And that's perfectly fine, but I guess my, my question is, is why would you have a special called meeting and waste everyone's time instead of just asking me or putting a memo down instead of requesting it within 40 minutes? If you would have just you know advised me or called me or asked me, I would have been more than happy to comply. I don't think any time that we meet that we are wasting the taxpayers' time. Okay. It may be wasting time to you, but it's not to me. Okay. Any questions from the board? Well, I, I have a question. I, I've been on this board since January 1st of last year, and uh, I don't know, uh, Ms. Uh, Chief Priest, how it's been handled before. You know, I, I wasn't aware of this, and uh, and I'm a little confused like you are, you know. Yeah, me too. And, and I, you know, I don't know why, you know, this happened. Maybe somebody up here can answer that for us, you know, because I like. That's, you know, that's kind of like me. I mean, it's, it's just always been this way, and if it's been an issue or a problem, you know, it could have been addressed a little differently. Um, but I've just been, it's, it's been the way it's been done for 12 years. Mr. Chairman, I, I've been on board except I was out from uh, 2003 to 2000. I came back on in 2007, I believe it was. That has never come before this board that we don't go by the law. I mean, never. Mr. Miller, did we not always at one point in time, we just agreed this one month to save money? You and Mr. Miller might have, but the board did. Uh, but again, and it's not an issue, it's not a problem. My only con concern is, is never been asked to do any differently. I mean, why wasn't it just, con why do we have to have a special called meeting? <coughs> it, all you had to do was ask me. Well, the check that you turned in on July the 3rd was in last, last budget year. They have to have that money in the bank by June the 3rd. No, ma'am, they don't. Well, that's what the accountants are telling me. I was told that when the accountant used to tell us we used to always have to rush to do it, I'd have to close my month out early and stop everything in my office and close my month out to present that. That was something I did and took upon myself. With me being short a lot and trying to get everything done, I didn't do it this month. But I've talked to the accountant personally in years past. James Herring used to say it all the time. It didn't have to be. As long as it was within that week after we closed out the year, it could be put and applied to that prior year. Yeah, and that causes them to have to, the girls in here to have to do a bunch of extra work and the accountants. So it's okay for me to do the extra work, but not them. Just right. turn it in by June the 30th. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir, Mr. Billy. I know in many years past, and uh, some of the people that was tax commissioner, uh, I come back on the board, I went off the year that she came in the office. Uh, come back on 2004 to 7 and I have been more than pleased with the way that she handled the money getting it up here uh, I'm not familiar with uh, all these laws I'm not an attorney but I, I mean when we're talking about nothing but tags I think all of us know the buck of the money that runs this county comes from the landowners right uh, and it's not due until de December the 20th. And I assure you, I'm not paying mine no earlier than December the 18th. Uh, is this county in that bad a shape that this little old pocket change, I call it, from tags and et cetera, that we had to, all of this has come up. I, I, I'm more than confused. I don't understand. Are, are we out of money? We don't have no money that we're that desperate that, that she's got to turn in every every dollar that uh, that comes in they something just not sounding right here to me can i say something like that? i yes, mean you know we're supposed to have money uh to care of us uh because when we received we did when we received that money in in, in uh uh december the 20th you talking about a, a, a large sum of money but well, that's carry us to june to june not through July. Mm. I mean, not. It never does. Well, I, I, I just. That's don't. why we have to do tan notes. But. Can I say something really quick? But speaking of tan notes, you know, we're talking about how I disperse money, don't disperse money, or whatever. Is it not being every year 
so y'all can meet your tan note deadline. I advance you all the money on collections. I've always tried to comply and do what what is needed for the betterment of this county. Well, and I feel like right now this is not this is just a personal attack. To be very honest, it has nothing to do with what this what, uh, uh, just a two week difference in when I give you one check. <clears throat> I'll be happy to do it every two weeks. It's going to cost more money. It's going to be more paper, more checks, more this, more, more time on my part. But I'll be happy to do that if that's what it's going to take for the betterment of the county, as long as that's what it's truly for. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. I think this is politically motivated. I do too. Politics, you know, it's as low as you can get, you know, sometimes. Yes, and I think Thank maybe we're facing it right now, you know. You know, I, you know. I'm embarrassed, I know, you know, putting you up here before us, you know, on a Thursday afternoon at 6 o'clock, you know, and, you know, it's, you know, I, I can't. Well, can I ask the board, when have I not ever done my job or turned in the money, and when has collections not ever been pretty much met to the high standard? I mean, at 99% pretty much every year collected, and, and when have I never not turned over the proper funds to this board? Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir, Ms. Billy. Mr. Dupree, I have, uh, close 20 years in with the county and and, and so to miss bozeman here we the two that's been been on this board the longest and uh, i have never the times that i've been in and out in the years that you were here that were you i have never had any dissatisfaction or, or any complaint whatsoever i've always felt that you did a very outstanding job and i still feel that way i i, I just I said I, I, I don't understand this. Uh, uh, why all at once? Well, Mr. All Chairman, the law is the law. Well, and, and I come back on the board in uh, January of 2011, and nothing's never been said until this afternoon. I didn't it? know it till they ain't got no money. Who ain't got no money? The county ain't got no money. Well, so that's pretty much. I, I could the gist I, of it. I could write y'all on a book on why. Wow. Well, I can tell you too. Last year, when we did the budget last year, y'all came back and you changed it and used half the reserves then, with the promise that there was $150,000 more coming in. It didn't happen. This year, we balanced the budget by using 340 or 67,000. I can't remember the exact figure. So basically, now all reserves are gone. We're, well, they ain't, we're, they're we're not out, gone, but they are. We're out of money. We're like some of the surrounding counties that, uh, well. They're not, like I say, they're not gone, but they're sitting there because of the budget. We can't write a check. I, I have said it and I'll say you it again. You can write one, but what's, what's going to happen when you ain't got it? Well, that's what I asked. If the farmers, the farmers of Worth County run their farms like this county's been running this county government up here, they wouldn't be a farmer in business this afternoon. We'd all be hungry. They wouldn't be. We don't have a state audit. Yeah, it comes up. They, they'll be in here in, in July. They start, isn't that right? May I, may I just board? Yes. Another question I would have is I, I, guess, past, I guess we'll go to the bank and try to borrow more money. In, in past, y'all back when y'all needed to fill the tan note in December when it comes due. And y'all back, and LeBron's always asking, Pat, can you advance me some money toward the collection so we can at least pay the tan note? Have I not always done it? My question, and you know I have, but my question to you is, is Instead of doing a call meeting and instead of calling the press in here and everybody in here for something so minute, why couldn't you just call me down and say, you know, top of the world, you know, we need a little bit of money now. Can you just go ahead and give us a check mid month or something? I'd be more than happy to do so. It well, was, the, I, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. The, this, this office here should have seen this coming, other than just all at one clip like that. And unfortunately, I mean, this is not a high collection month. I mean, this, this is just... But I'll give you everything I got. I'll be happy to. I'll close it out tomorrow. But I can't, according to this document, I mean, you're giving me 40 minutes to close out half a month, and there's it's just, an, it's impossible. Are, are we going to be able to <coughs> pay roll at the end of this month? Are we going to make it this Go ahead, Mr. Hall. <clears throat> just a couple of things. One is that I'm listening to what is going on and about the money not coming in, uh, when it was turned in, and it was agreed upon by a previous board and all of this. First thing I'll tell you, no board, this board or previous board or the future board will be bound by something that another board has verbally agreed upon. 
Okay. So if, if that is to go forward, then that should be agreed upon with the present board. Okay. The other thing is that with everything that has been said, the issue has been addressed about here's what the law says and this is what the board is, is asking for and what we expect and, and such as that. All this other bickering, all this other stuff is very minute. Yeah. We have the media here mm -hmm. and I mean we, we're not going anywhere with this. It's done. You have an understanding. We have an understanding as a board. Let's close this and move forward. There's other important things that needs to be addressed that we need to be doing. So can we just I mean, we know where, what we want. Your questions have been addressed. Let me rephrase that. You have voiced your, your questions. And I think in, in the right format, they will be addressed. You know, I won't uh, attempt to address any of those questions without information in front of me that I can speak uh, uh, knowledgeable on. Um, that's just me as District 1 Commissioner. But I think as a board, as a, forget the board, but as community leaders, we are failing. We are failing the community. We are failing uh, uh, the, the constituents of this county by conducting ourselves this way. And it's not one, it's not this board, it is not that tax commission office, it's all of us as leaders. Whether it's politically motivated, whether it's personal or whatever it is, this is very childish. That's the best term that I could use with all of this. We should be better professionals, not some of us, but all of us in this matter. Whether it could have been addressed earlier, uh, whether it could have been addressed later, but we should have addressed this, whether you wanted to continue to do it on a two week uh, uh, period, uh, uh, whatever. We have just operated uh, so long and so often by what I think, what I have done in the past, and what I want to do. We have to get beyond that. Having said that, the issue of the, the money, the checks not being uh, seen in, I think it's been addressed. The question has uh, been answered to me, so we can move forward. And, and in regards to what you're saying, as far as the prior board, um, this board's been on here, this particular board right now, what, two years? Two years. I'll say this. I'll say this. Me as District One Commissioner, I wasn't even aware that there was an agreement in place of that nature. Yes, you know, so is this board at fault? Yes. Is you as a tax commissioner at fault? Yes. Because of nobody knew lack of communication between the two offices, between leadership of this county. Mm -hmm. That's where we have failed at. Mm -hmm. And it's not that you failed your office or we failed this board of commission office we have failed the community and that's what it is you've heard me say this before and that's what it is you know we we we, we point the fingers at everybody and it's their fault his fault her fault or whoever fault it is but it's we us as leaders it's our fault and until we can get on the same page and it's not just the board of commission and the tax commission office it is every department head and every constitutional officer in this county until we get on the same page we're going to continue to suffer At this point, it doesn't matter what I think or what I believe in, is that we're here. We're here right now. And we're just spinning our wheels and we're not going anywhere. You know, use it as a learning experience. Oh, yeah. oh yes. You know, I mean, we could have handled it different if we're spinning our wheels while we're up here. You know? I got one comment. I'm not up here to spin my wheels. You know? I'm up here to do what we're supposed to be doing, and this is inappropriate. I don't disagree with part of Mr. Hall's statement, but I I feel as, as a member of this board too, serving District 4 of this county, the fault is with this board right here and the people that's in our office. 
that just goes to the point. If this would have been a problem, it shouldn't have been a bombshell and dropped like it's been dropped today. Something should have been said and something did. Yeah. I, I, I put no blame and no fault toward you, Ms. Deeper. You've only did what you've been doing since you've been here. And if, if what, was, what was fine last year, Mr. Hall's been on this board more years with you than I have. Uh, if he wasn't aware of some of that, I don't understand. Mr. Chairman, I assume the law was being handled. I didn't know nothing about turning it in when you want to. Anyway, I want to make a motion that we go by OCGA 48-5-142, the tax collector or tax commissioner in each county having a population of less than $30,000 shall make a report every two weeks to the county governor's authority of the aggregate amount of taxes collected during the two-week period. Each report shall separately specify the amount collected for the state and the amount collected for the county. The tax collector or tax commissioner shall swear that the report is correct, report of the taxes collected. That being the law, Mr. Chairman, I have to second it. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? You, you, you full aware and understand and come to the All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Chairman, that being, that being the only issue on the agenda, I make a motion we adjourn. We have a motion to adjourn and a second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? We can adjourn. Yeah.